Hey there, world travelers. Hey there. I'm Tanya. And I'm Dave. And we are Turn It Up World. Welcome back to Las, Las Vegas! Vegas! Tonight we're headed to Bugsy and Meyer Steakhouse at the Flamingo here in Las Vegas on the Las Vegas Strip, which happens to be the oldest casino still standing on the Las Vegas Strip. Yeah, it's just a really, really, really cool spot. And Bugsy and Meyer's is one of the top new restaurants in 2020 to open up. It was actually supposed to open up in March, but with everything going on, it just opened up on, in July. Yeah. So we're excited to check it we out. We are. It's going to be this real throwback kind of vibe to the old Las Vegas. I'm super excited for that. We heard the portion sizes are great. They have great steaks. There's great seafood. There's great wine. Yeah. There's great drinks. And plus they have fun with the entrance. You, yes. go, through, you go through a bakery. A little Goodfellas in it too. So exactly. Pretty cool. Well, we have reservations. We need to rock and I always look at this and there's the watch is not even on. There you go. Right there. Yes. We need to <laughs> rock and roll. So you ready to start this? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay, so Dave and I on our way to Bugsy and Myers. We are actually at the Flamingo Pool. It's a really nice balcony. You can walk across here after you get the free parking situation. It really does have one of the nicest pools oh, yeah. here on the strip. It's, it's awesome. The rock wall, as you can see over there. It's beautiful. It's just gorgeous. Great family friendly spot. Yeah. Absolutely. Pretty busy out there. It really is. Now, I do believe everything's still running at about a 50% capacity. Yeah. Um, and it's still early enough. The pools are not six o'clock yet, but I think most pools now close at six. So excited to be here at the Bugsy and Myers Steakhouse. I'm super stoked. Yeah, I'm super excited. One of the great new restaurants here in 2020 Las Vegas. Here at the Flamingo, right on the strip, a great spot. And we have our own room back here, which is yes. nice. Yes, I really love the little story when you come through, how yes. the host kind of takes you through the way that the boys used to do it back in the day. You know, through the bakery, showing them meats. And those are real meats. Y'all can get some of those real meats and take home with y'all. No, I don't know about exactly. that. But you can definitely try some of those delicious yeah. meats. A, a, a little good fellas here, you know, kind of walk through the kitchen. They'll kind of pull a table out for you right in front of the music. Oh, yes. Where's and the it, band? Where's that band? Where's playing? the band? I think yeah. I hear them out there, but yeah. not here. I'm excited about the menu. We got a lot of great things going on there. And it really does seem like the star of the show is the meat department. Oh, yeah, the dry aged meat. They also have what, A5 Wagyu? The A5 Japanese right. Wagyu. So. And I believe it's about 200 bucks for five for ounces. Five ounces. So if you want so, an amazing cut of beef for five ounces, 200 bucks, hey, you can go for that. You can go for that. I may, I may pass tonight Me on that too. one. Yeah. We'll, we'll leave that for maybe a uh, even more special occasion. Yes, yes, I agree with that. Rain yeah. check. Rain, rain check. check. Rain Does check. sound good though. <laughs> yes. I think though there's a couple options. There's a seafood tower that sounds amazing for two folks. It's about 80 bucks and I think you get on that. I'm going to read from the menu so I don't get it wrong. Sure. But I believe they have like Maine lobster, Alaskan king crab, poached shrimp, east and west coast oyster selections. Sounds fantastic. So these are quite pretty drinks. I know. Look at that nice little flower in this thing. I know. Pretty that nice. looks awesome. Right. That really looks awesome. This is the Mother Superior. Yeah. And uh, what does it got in here? I'm going to read right through here. It just helps. What is that? Flor de Canaseco? Yes. Right. Four, Four years. years. Grenadine. Wow. Luxardo. I can't even pronounce this up. Marchino, Marchino liquor. liquor. And pineapple juice. Nice. There we go. I ended up getting what is mm. called the Ritz cocktail, which has Hennessy, uh, Cointreau, Luxardo, Marchino liquor, lemon juice, uh, Chardon Brew Rosé, and Luxardo cherry. Oh, well, cheers. Here's to a great evening Absolutely. and a cheers. fun opening here. Absolutely. At the Bugsy Meyer Steakhouse. Mm, that is nice. Tart with a little bite. Look at this. I mean, it looks like a, I'm going to be stuffed just eating this. I know. Thanks, Lamar, for making this delicious bread, if you made it. Exactly. <laughs> Sourdough bread with yes. some... Uh, what is that, a little Parmesan shavings Parmesan on there? Parmesan shavings, Some scallions. scallions. And of course that nice little unsalted butter. It looks like a nice little butter. Gonna, I'm just gonna crack that open right down Ooh. the middle. Doesn't, it kind of cuts it through pretty light. It just cuts right yeah. through very easily. But man, oh man, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, look how soft that is. The butter just kind of breaks apart. <laughs> no, I gotta load great. that on. I'm gonna take like a big bite of like where that scallion and that cheese is in the butter. Mm, it's good, yeah. <laughs> you ready to do it? I'm ready. Let's try it. 
Mmm. 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 What do you think? I mean, it's really nice. It's nice. It's nice and light. And also, the, um, this whipped butter is really light, uh, too. It really yeah. is. I mean, that Parmesan cheese, yeah. right? The crispy crunch of the bread, the scallions. And of mm. course, when you when you get past the crust, the super like doughiness inside and it's warm. That's good. That's really good. Mm. Well, look at what we got here. So a nice selection of six delicious oysters from the West Coast and the East Coast. We got Fanny Bay's right here, which are the tiny ones. And then of course, we got the Connecticut version, the blue points here, which is really nice. I'm, I can already smell the horseradish, which they said has an extra strong kick, the lemon, and of course, the white wine vinegar with shallots. I'm excited. So dive right in. Should I try, you know, should I try one? What should I start with? Pick uh, one. I would start with this guy right here. Oh, That's one of the Connecticut ones. The right? Connecticut ones, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to put a little lemon juice on that. It's got like the horseradish. And that's that kind of a uh, original horseradish sauce, yes. right? Yes, right, you know? right. I forgot to say that. It's right. Oh, I'm, I'm, this is going to be delicious. I like I like a little kick, though. And of course, I'm going to have to put the white wine and shallots, because I love white wine and shallots. <laughs> All right, right, here, here we, we go. go. Oh my god. That was really good, mm. really smooth. Went right down. Some of them, it wasn't briny at all. A little bit of salt from like the sea in there. I thought that was the bomb. That took That's good. I love the presentation. <laughs> I love this like um, platter as well they have it on. Isn't it's really it? Kind of cool. I, right? It's like that kind of yeah, solid. Like the solid stone it's plate. Cool. Very right? Cool. Should we give this one a try? Yeah, I think it should. Okay. I'm gonna feed me, see more feed me. That's true. I'm gonna do it. I'll be like pouring that all over you. I'm gonna put a little lemon juice in there. Here this, we go. And then this is from British Columbia. This is the correct. correct. Yes, yeah. this is the British Columbia. Of course, a little shallots, and I gotta get a little white wine. There we go. White wine on there. All right, here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Mmm. Mm. Like that one, mm. huh? Mm -hmm -hmm. A little more shell, loose shell. That was good. That one has a little bit more of a creamier taste, a little fishier. Is it, yeah? Um, for sure. Really meaty. Um, I probably would have put a little bit more of the horseradish sauce on that to give it that extra bite. But that was good. Right. I think, but between the two, my favorite would be the blue point. Okay. Yeah, you tend to prefer the, uh, I feel like the Eastern ones more than the British Columbia ones. Yeah. At least in the past, I've seen. Yeah. So it holds true tonight. It holds as true well. tonight. Yes. You know. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. I really do love like this throwback decor in here. Yeah, no, yeah, I think it's really cool. And it's kind of this throwback, like Tanya said. There's obviously so much history in the Flamingo. Yes. And, and Bugsy and Myers. Exactly. And so this kind of brings back a little bit to that the whole feeling of it. This is amazing. I have never seen ceviche presented this way. No. Usually ceviche from either Mexico or Peru that we've had there. It was always curing and the juice just kind of yeah. sopped in lime juice. Elio, and even the Elio, very right. similar to that as well, very traditional. Very traditional. This is definitely not, not traditional. traditional. This is basically what they call a Fijian um, scallop ceviche, which is basically shaved scallops with jalapenos and of course it's got a nice coconut foam. I yeah, never, that's interesting. I've never, that coconut never seen foam. a coconut foam I in a know, ceviche. I yeah. know. And it, of course, it has the lime juice because that's where it was kind of curing in it for a little bit while. What do you got? Yeah, well, mine's a little more traditional. Lobster bisque. Love uh, lobster bisque. I'm gonna have, you know I'm having smells, a sample of that. Smells amazing. See some nice bits of lobster in there. There's some prim fresh in there as well. Um, and some, I think some lobster relish, I guess, kind yes. of mixed in the sauce. So it looks really good. It has a nice fresh pepper on top. Yeah. I'm excited. That Jump in. Here we go. amazing. Mix in some of the lobster bits here. Here we go. I'm excited. That looks yeah. amazing. Mm, that's nice. It's really, really creamy. Incredibly smooth. A really nice bisque. I mean, the, the uh, bisque in there, the sauce is really good. And just the lobster are so fresh, kind of burst as well. Those lobster bits are really nice. So, like, here you go, ready? Watch that. I'm afraid I'll spill a little bit. So, here we go. What do you think? Mm. Nice, right? You are so right. That's good. All right, I'm going to give this a shot here. I don't even know where to start. It's so pretty. I don't even want to touch it. All right, here we go. Mm. 
Mm. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, three words. I love it. Excellent. Those are good <laughs> so, words. So, so good. I've never had a scallop ceviche before, but apparently if it's a proper mm. scallop, you can cure it like a yeah, ceviche amazing. style. They're little, you can see kind of they're a little, little cooked almost a bit, not cooked under heat but probably and in the, the lime, lime juice. juice, right? So It's really nice. I mean, the coconut foam just kind of adds a little bit of dynamic to it, um, but I, I definitely love the jalapenos. Delicious, really delicious. Do you want to try it? Uh, I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sunblock. Mmm. <laughs> Isn't that good? That's really, really good. Really fresh you know what kind I of love? tasting. I love the cherry tomato. Yes! The kind crunch. Burst. Really kind of bursting about, and the... Uh, the scallop is just so light. Exceptionally really light. light. That's a really good style. Mm. Are you ready Are you for the main event? I am ready. Look what we got oh, here. It's incredible. You start. What did you get? Oh, sure. Yeah, I got some uh, fresh Dover salt menu. And it's uh, uh -huh. it looks so good. Uh, there's a nice little kind of a, a sauce here. Put on like some herb, I think some herb spetzel, is that right? And I, I got, what is that, Mishima, and I'm gonna read it right from here so I get yeah. it right. Mishima Ranch Wagyu Rib Cat, eight ounce, and it's from Seattle, Washington, right? That's right, So yeah. I'm really soaked, and of course, this is the most giant size lobster tail I have ever seen. It's actually bigger than my steak. Exactly, <laughs> no, it looks amazing. And also, I forgot to mention this too, I also oh, got yes. some. Just some, shrimp some nice scampi. shrimp scampi, traditional scampi. And let me just hold this up. Yeah, I mean, that looks look good. Look at the size of that shrimp. That looks good. You might have to eat that, huh? <laughs> you have to share that one. But it's nice. It looks like it has yeah. like garlic pieces in there. It looks like little chives yeah. in there. Looks good. Looks really good. Of course, this comes with the peppercorn sauce, which is definitely recommended. That now, looks there's, nice. There's three types you can get. You can actually get the Bernays, right. Hollandaise, um, he says, or you can go with the peppercorn. And with the steak, it's probably recommended that you go with the peppercorn. The rosemary, you know, sticks on top, which adds a little sweet, you know, flavor to that as well. What I'm excited with is these baby shishitos. Oh, I like those. Look at the tiny baby. Cool. Oh, tiny nice. baby. Yes. Tiny, tiny baby shishito. Yes. But it's a really great compliment. Now, that might be a spicy one. I don't know. Sometimes the young ones are the spicy ones. Exactly. Never know. Never, Never know. know. And of course, the butter, like we talked about before. There you go. Classic that butter lobster. with lobster. I am so ready to dive into this. All right. So I'm going to pour some of this nice little sauce right over this. Doesn't seem too heavy, so I'm gonna pour it right there. That's gonna be really good. Looks amazing. Yeah, maybe a little lemon. Just gonna get it all together and just jump right in. Look at that. Here we go, ready? You got it. Mmm. Wow. That's really good. Yeah. The, uh, your, the Dover sole just tastes so fresh. Yeah. Really nice. It's not too salty. Really kind of a mild flavor, but everything blends together really nice. And with this spetzel here, it's just so good. I'm gonna feed you on this a little bit. Here we you go. You gonna give me a little try? I'm gonna give you some. Here we okay. go. Okay, a little spetzels. Exactly. Try those spetzels. All right, I'll jump. Mm. What do you think? Now you know we love soul, right? So the spetzel yeah. combined with the soul, it's a nice little crunch to that, right? Yeah. So you get like a little tart in the greens and that smoothness of the soul, and that sauce is amazing. It is, and I almost want some more on there. <laughs> wow, that is no joke. This kind of cuts, cuts right, right through. through. Wow. Now what I'm gonna probably do, now, you could have the peppercorn sauce with it, but I think we're just gonna start right with just the steak just itself, just to it, really yeah. taste like the meat and all its glory. All right. You know what? Yeah. I know you love steak as well. Oh, of course. So hold on. I think it's gonna be damn good, that's what I think. Let's try this together. Okay. Mmm. Oh wow. That is awesome. David, that is amazing. Yeah, no, I love that. There is so much flavor. A little crispy on the top, like that top mm. layer has a little bit of a crunch. It's really good. And it, it just feels like it doesn't need anything. Like no. the peppercorn could be a great little addition to spring out a different flavor, but by itself, it's just Absolutely delicious. All right, so what I'd like to do is maybe each, have each of us try one of these. Okay. Well, what I'll try and do is get a little of this garlic. I love like that shaved garlic. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Because that's scampi. It's like that garlic kind of lemony vibe. That's what you think. That is so good. Mm. They're humongous shrimp. That's good. Perfectly cooked. That's really nice. The butter sauce. Yeah. With that garlic. Oh. Really good. 
Can I'm, I just I'm the last one? No, you have that, because oh, I, I have this job. <laughs> All right, so now yeah. I am going to try the lobster. Now, that. this is an amazing. It's a lot of lobster. It's a lot of lobster. It's humongous. Would right. you like a piece? I would. I love this. Why not? So grab your piece over there. Okay, sounds good to me. Give that a little dip in some butter. I am ready. Mm. Here we go. I'm you ready? ready? Here we go. I dip that thing completely in butter. Mm -hmm. Usually when I pull it out, yeah. it's like covered and drenched in butter. Right. That lobster tail is like perfectly cooked. Yeah. I think it's delicious. I love like the little... I love the presentation. I yeah. love the butter. Definitely spot on. I love the size of that lobster. You know, you're right. really getting what you pay for with this you lobster. Are. Exactly. Funny <laughs> that. Funny you know what I'm that. With a great man. With an amazing woman. Thank you very much. I was, oh, <laughs> thank you. Cheers. Take the best for last, right? As I said. Yeah, what is that crazy thing? This is an apple. It's crazy. It's an it's apple. An apple. Yeah. It's a caramel. An apple. Wow, really? <laughs> Unbelievable. Looks like one. This is actually a recommended popular dessert here called the Big Apple. Now, it looks like an apple. It has apple in it, but it's not an apple. It's actually a really cool uh, white chocolate uzu mousse. It's got a caramelized apple, some caramel in there, and it's got a hazelnut crumble along the bottom. Of course, it looks like it has the caramel. Yeah. And do you just pick it up and eat it like, like a, a candied apple, or no? I don't think you want to try that. Yeah, I'm not, that may not work out. <laughs> there go. you go, perfect, right there. Nice job, that's good. Now that is awesome. Candy corn. Yes, I haven't had that since I was a kid. All right, ready to give this a shot? Let's see if I can actually pick it up. <laughs> it's so like delicate. It really is. Hold on, I'm gonna throw this right here. Mm. Mm. A lot of, lot of different things mm -hmm. going on in there. Like the caramel, the candy shell. There's like a little sweetness to that green right. outer shell. The white mousse is just nice. The white chocolate yuzu mousse. Yuzu mousse? Yuzu mousse, I think it is. Or something, something like, like that. that. Yeah, <laughs> really good. good. And I like the hazelnut crumble. What do you think? Yeah, that's not my jam, like I gotta <laughs> say. I'm more traditional. Um, you know, I feel like, the chocolate. Cake. I like, I like the chocolate, the uh, chocolate mousse, those kind of things. This is, uh, you know, it's not bad, but uh, I think you'll be uh, diving in that little variety tonight. Would be. Yes. I probably I can see that already. Yeah. All right, I feel like this is the same scenario time and time again with us in Vegas, right? Oh, yeah. So, I am stuffed. I am stuffed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so let me ask you this question. Sure. So what do you think of this place? Oh, what do you think? <laughs> So overall, I will say it was spot on. The food, the service was fantastic. What was nice was seeing the portion sizes met the plate size. <laughs> no, it's true. I mean, it's definitely not a cheap place, but the portions are quite large and then really good high quality food. Absolutely. Right and hats off to Chef Lamar Moore. Thank you so much for yes. doing what you do. Thumbs up. Great meeting you, by the way. We had a wonderful time. The food was, I, I can't stop saying it. it, was amazing. It was amazing. My dish was better. Though. And I, I'd say, if, yeah, the highlight I'd say for me and maybe for us was that Wagyu beef. Yeah. The Wagyu beef was amazing, yeah. so good. So I will say this, if you made it this far, thank you so much, we appreciate that. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you get up every time we put something new and exciting. Thanks for joining us, World Travelers, and we look forward to seeing you in Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. Good luck.